Someone on Collective. Oh my goodness. I was about to go to bed. And my third eye caught this card deck. And I was like, okay, so somebody has something to say. So let's see what these late, light, late night messages is from your person. Non-communication. <clears throat> I am not about to go get that other deck. We're going to work with what we got. So either you say what you have to say. Or I just shut the camera off, okay? All right. Ancestors of my highest good and light, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the messages for me and the collective. Thank you for the downloads. Thank you for this mofo showing up, telling me they want to come talk to the collective, whoever this may be for at this late hour. Okay? This is an emergency. This is a 911. So I ask that anything that doesn't belong, please don't allow it to come in. Those who want it to come out and for whatever messages do belong, allow them to come through to resonate with the collective as above, so below. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't be trying to mess up my... Ooh. <laughs> ooh, I, I hope I got the same two cards. <laughs> This person, listen, you're going to have to work with me, okay? You can't be, um, you can't be messing up my whole moment here, okay? Let's see what's going on. <sighs> okay, so this person says they made a mistake. They have made a mistake. You can see this person all alone. They at the end of the rope. <clears throat> they don't know what to do. They feel stuck. Okay, they feel stuck. And um, let me see if I could. Mm -hmm. They feel stuck. I told you. This person is broken hearted. So I guess I'm lonely. Broken hearted. Life's not over. Guess I'll start again. So I'm lonely. Yes, by Brandy. Broken hearted. Mm-hmm. So in the process of hurting you, they hurt themselves. That's how I know this is a twin flame. Okay? That's how I know this is a twin flame. All right. And this person, <clears throat> let me see. Hold on, y'all. I had the perfect view. I wasn't ready for all this, you know. I'm doing this person a favor by coming in, showing these cards, because I'm tired. But they like, please, I need to get a message to my, my sweetheart. <laughs> I need to get a message to my boot thing, okay? So that wanted to come out and went back in. Yeah, mm-hmm. This person was so busy chasing thrills, they ended up getting hurt because they thought they could find another you. I'm going to tell the truth. Either we're going to tell the truth or I'm not going to say nothing. You could go home, Okay. I'm hearing ruffled tail feathers. Oh, somebody's ruffling their tail feathers right now. Somebody's tail feathers are ruffled. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, let me shuffle one good time. <clears throat> yeah, this person is definitely, um, they're regretting. Go. Go. <laughs> They're regretting, um, yeah, and they're spying too. They're watching your social um, media. They want you to know that they don't have the heart to tell you. They, I don't, I don't think this person even let you know that they're watching your um, social media, but they want you to know they're watching your social media. Okay, so if you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, if you got your own website, they watching you. They watching you. Okay? And um, all they could think about is how they made a mistake. They let a good one get away. Okay? And this person knows that they broke your heart. And in the process, they got their heart broken. Mm-hmm. And they're, 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 they hate themselves. They're, they're resenting. I told you. 
Okay? They probably even said some hurtful words. And they resent saying those things to you. But this person is full of bitterness and hurt. Because they know that they got a, a good one that got away. They realized that what they was chasing wasn't what they really needed. It's what they wanted. And they also wanted you. But they really need you is what I'm hearing. Because you're good for the soul. I heard that book, Chicken Soup for the Soul. So this person could be reading a book. By Ivanya, Ivanya Van Zent or whatever her name is. Yeah, don't quote me. Don't laugh at me either. Okay, because I don't be looking up this stuff. I'm just hearing and channeling confessions. Okay, so it came in a reverse. <clears throat> this person, they want to confess to you, but they're not confessing. They're not sending these messages into you. Okay, but I'm going to put it in the upright because all the other words is, is upright. Okay. So this person is spying on you. They know they made a mistake. They should have confessed when they had a chance. That's what I'm hearing. And they didn't. What didn't they confess about? What happened? Okay. So we also have healing in reverse. This person is having a hard time releasing, cleansing. Okay. And I'm also seeing hoping. They're hoping for, you know, another chance. They're hoping for another chance to manifest you back into their life mm. thank you sir tell me more what other messages do you have for the collector <clears throat> what else does this person want to say please and thank you my hand hurt <laughs> Some, no don't be oh my god oh my god Okay, so this person is in pain right now because they're afraid. What are they afraid of? They're afraid to go through this healing by themselves. That's why it, everybody has their own healing, honey bun. Everybody has their own healing. Just like when this person, when you hurt my collective, they had to go through their healing by themselves. I know you know that. So don't come in here talking about. What you listen, let's talk about what you really want to talk about. Don't talk about what you don't want to go through. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah. This person don't want to go through it by themselves. But they they know they abandoned you. Okay? They know they abandoned you. All right. And now it's like they have to go through this healing work by themselves. Because the person that cared about them the most, which is you collective. Um, <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Oh, that's too much. Look at that. That's too much. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> Put an emphasis on this abandonment, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Any other messages? Thank you. Yeah, so... This person is hoping you don't run away, that you don't leave them. As they go through this healing. So they are going to go through this healing. As painful as it is, they're not going to run away from it. They're running towards it. Okay. <clears throat> they're running towards it. Um, this person probably ghosted you. Yeah. So hopeless is in reverse. So that's letting me know that they still have hope. That's why I said they're running towards it. Okay. Their life is falling apart. I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Their life is falling apart. Nothing is going right for them. This is what they want you to know. They want you to know that they're suffering. Just like they made you suffer. But they don't... They Either you block this person or they don't know how to find you. But... 
this person misses the foundation that y'all had together. They know that y'all had something safe and secure, but they ran away from it. They abandoned it. They ghosted you to chase, you know. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah, they went chasing something that wasn't real. And when they realized that it, it was too late. It was too late. Mm-hmm. They know that you're the only one for them. You're the only one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm hearing all these damn songs. So your person could be uh, communicating through, to you through music. I, I hear you collectors saying you don't even want to listen to music because you know they're trying to communicate with you. <laughs> like every time you hear just another sad love song on the radio. Just another sad love song in my brain like crazy. Yeah. You don't want to hear it. Okay. So, um, yeah, lusting. So this person ain't dealing with nobody. They ain't dealing with nobody. They all alone. They only got eyes for you. That's what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. And they know that right now they can't come towards you. They know that they can't come towards you. Okay, so it sounds like this person is getting a wake-up call. Like they going through some type of awakening. And this is the only way that they could reach you because they know that you be watching tarot. You could be a tarot channeler. Like you could have your own tarot channel. <clears throat> or you be posting things. Yeah, they know they can't reach you. No words. Like, you stone cold. I feel like you did block this person. Tell me more, spirit. What else does this person want to say? <clears throat> yeah, they want a second chance. They want a second chance with you. Mm-hmm. They want a second chance with you. If you will let it happen. All right, so, yeah, this person is thinking about you, craving you, desiring you, wanting you, hoping for you, missing you, desiring you. Did I say that? Craving you. Did I say that? Yeah, all of the above. This is what they want. <clears throat> I really don't have no passion in this connection because... Like, I see the truth. I see what they're, they're not, this person is not pointing fingers at you at all. They putting all the blame on themselves. And so when I see somebody do that, that lets me know that they're awakening. That lets me know that they're taking accountability for their actions. But they don't have a platform they don't have an opportunity to come and tell you face to face, either because they're still afraid because they're going through this awakening. They're going through this, you know, healing process. And I don't think they could take another sad love song. They could take another rejection because they was rejected by these people that they went chasing after. And that's what made them really have like this epiphany that you, you know, that you was the one with realization here. Okay, because they realized that what they was chasing wasn't it was just a good time for a small time. It was and then it didn't even go the way they thought it was going to go because they was hoping that these people would give them what you what you do to this person. Nothing but love them. I hear nothing but love them. You didn't do nothing but give them all your love. I'm giving. No, let me stop. I, it's by Whitney Houston. Giving all my love to you. Yeah. Giving all my love to you by Whitney Houston. Mm hmm. Whitney came through. That's how I know you loved on this person because Whitney knew how to love. She loved her son Bobby. Okay? She loved her son Bobby. Okay? That was her ride or die. Bonnie and Clyde. But this person didn't treat you in the same aspect. They didn't treat, treat you with the same honor and love. They was out here chasing things that didn't make no sense. Okay, so yeah, this person wants to come back in. Look, the tennis swords and the fool. 
Yeah, even though it was very painful, you ain't got nowhere but up, right? This person is crushed, okay? The worst of the worst has happened for them lusting after these people, after these uh, extracurricular activities. And now this person is silent, but they are hoping for a new beginning, they're hoping to take a risk, a chance towards you and face their fears. They're facing the healing process that they have to go through. And hopefully by them doing that, it would bring in some type of reconciliation because this person sees that you are the only one for them, right? <clears throat> and instead of running away from you, they're running towards you. But they need some type of, um, that's what I'm hearing. It's saying they need some type of, Clarity, they need some type of you know confirmation. What other messages do you have, Spirit? Clarify the fool that one is to come out. Yeah, this person is trying to you know get the courage up to come towards you, you know, build their faith up. This person does have a lot of love for you, they're hoping you have a lot of compassion for them. You could be seeing the numbers 1008 or 8001. Mm -hmm. But this person is missing and craving you a lot. Mm -hmm. It's empty right now. And they see things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's empty, you know, without you. Okay, this person is lonely and broken hearted. And they feel like you, you're better off without them. So they're just watching you from afar because they don't want to be rejected with rejection in reverse. Mm -hmm. It's hard for this person to even fantasize about you because they're going to try to act on those fantasies with other people and they don't want to do that. So they're reframing from thinking of anything lustful. That's why the Ten of Swords is here with lusting. Right? This this is what caused them to go through this painful ending, feeling like they're in in pain and hurt and ho and loss of hope. Yeah. They want to come in and confess. Mm-hmm. So this is what this person want to tell you. Late night confessions. That's what I'm hearing. Right? If they had a chance to tell you, no judgment zone. If they had a chance to tell you how they really felt and what they really are trying to do, would you give them a second chance? <clears throat> it's coming back out. Would you give them a second chance? Okay. Yeah. And that's why it's hard for me to laugh. or I, I can't laugh right now because I really do feel the sin sincerity in their um, energy. Right? I can hear and feel them wanting to come in because they don't like this emptiness that that they're feeling okay they want they want you and only you now but they don't know how to come in and apologize to you yeah they don't know how to come in and really show you you know they want you to be kind hearted towards them they miss your gentleness they miss your love they miss your empathy and the way you comfort them. This person is at ground zero. You know, when you have a good thing, sometimes you don't appreciate it because you ain't used to it. That's why they say don't cast your pearls amongst pigs. And this person was definitely a pig in your life. You know, they didn't, they never had nothing good. They always had pages and nights and you know, they never had an actual queen. Mm. Some of you are empresses or you're about to. That's why you're not giving this person a time of day because you're elevating. You like, listen, I'm not going to continue to stay on the saint. Y'all, I can't make this up. Some of you are stars in the making. And this person sees you as a star. They know that everything about you is healing. And they want to come in and try to heal this. This person is still holding on to hope. They just need a sign mm -hmm. to come in. Yeah. They just need a sign from you. 
This person is looking towards you. Look, they're looking towards you with this Queen of Cups. They're looking towards you, hoping for a sign from you. Would you give them a second chance if they came in? Mm-hmm. Because they don't want to get rejected. They're using all the strength they have, all the inner strength they have to come in and ask for a second chance. This is the year of eight, 2024. This is where people have to take responsibility and accountability for their actions. This is where people start to take, you know, leadership, operating in high vibration. Enough is enough. Mm, a lot of it came out and I'm going to take it because the justice card is like, yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth, okay? This person is, is ready to balance things out, okay? Yeah. I got the king of swords in reverse. So this person knows that they're being, it's like their conscience is asking them to um, bring clarity about whatever it is that they were hiding from you. This person was very judgmental. That's what I'm hearing. They also feel like you're being like the king of swords. Like you cut this person off. You're being cold towards them is what I'm hearing. That's how they feel. That you went from the queen of cups to the king. Yeah, look, joy. Joy came out crossing. So this is letting me know you still have love for this person. Right? You, you had high hopes for this person. And um, with joy and hope and, you know, balance, justice, the truth, it's like the truth has set you free. Okay? So this person is trying to stay positive that if they go through this healing process, things will change and balance out. <clears throat> yeah, things will balance out. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Judgment. Yeah. Spirit is asking you to have some compassion on this person. I'm telling you, even though you cold towards them, Spirit is saying give this person a chance. Let them come in and earn your forgiveness. You know? Let them come in and earn your forgiveness. Don't just give it all to them at once, but hear them out. At least give them a chance to, you know, speak their truth. All they want is a sign that they won't be rejected if they come towards you. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? My kids is laughing like crazy. They ain't got no school and they in there acting a fool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I love it. I love to hear my kids laugh. That means that they in good spirits. That means that they're healthy, clean, satisfied, and content. And you can't ask for nothing better than that, you know? So I'm grateful right now. All right, Spirit, let's finish up this reading. Clarify, Spirit, the sun card. I mean, there's nothing to clarify with the sun. The, the, this person wants to come back to you. They want to come back to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, but they feel like your boundaries is up, but they're... This person is coming back with their tail between their legs. As long as they know they have a chance to speak to you, they don't care. Okay? Yeah, they don't care. Thank you, Spirit. This one came out too. We have, um, yeah, this person is going to run back in. They're a little angry, but they better learn how to cool their temper. I could tell you that much. Um, but this to me is like, it says haste. So this is like someone who's hurrying back in, right, without thinking. Clarify the um, Knight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> so this person might have some delayed travel plans returning as well. Why? Clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. They wasted all their energy doing other things. This is like 
sudden a sudden change like they just thought about this it wasn't really no deep thought or plan because something happened to cause this person to be angry why is this why is this person why is this knight of wands angry oh see they was dealing with an older female they was dealing with a um a karmic fem fem uh feminine energy someone that they thought would be like you but this person is not this is someone um that tried to control them mhm mm wow it took this it took this empress in reverse to show this person that they was not a queen of cups they were not you collective and it, and this empress in reverse pissed them off what what did this empress in reverse do to piss off this knight of wands of course that's going to fall on the floor <gasps> this empress in reverse was broke this is a divorcee that's what spirit is telling me so this night this person is in the knight of wands energy this person is this person okay let me just calm down because i'm about to get crazy now the passion is coming in i'm picking up this person's passion so this knight of wands your person who's operating in the knight of wands according to this empress in reverse right this knight of wands your person is returning home with the four of wands because the the them and this empress had an argument and the argument was somebody was trying to be controlling somebody with this person catfished your person that's what happened okay um this person has financial issues this empress has financial issues and they tried to take advantage of your person and this angered them because she came off as if she was nurturing, mothering, loving, right? Stable. And she actually is a yuck yuck. <laughs> oh my God. She a yuck yuck. Like a yuck yuck. Like a yuck mouth. Yeah, she a yuck yuck. Everything about her is a disaster. She is not even an empress. She's she's a divorcee. This person is like, um, well, I'm picking up a Jezebel spirit, but I'm also picking up like she's <laughs> she pretends to be a sugar mama, but she she's a cougar. Thank you, spirit. She's a cougar. So she's a cougar that ain't got she a broke cougar. Thank you. She a broke cougar. And I feel like this was the <laughs> I ain't laughing. I ain't laughing. She a broke cougar. <laughs> your, per your person went after a broke cougar. And they was tricked. That's why they upset. They was tricked. Mm-hmm. King of Wands. <laughs> this is what's making this person want to mature. They don't like being lied to. And that's exactly what they did to you. They lied to you. They made you believe that they was ready for something that they wasn't ready for. And when this person went to go back in the field, they went out there. They got attracted to this cougar and found out that this cougar was a whole yuck mouth. <laughs> So now they want to, now they want to mature. Now they want to man up when they come to you because they, what they did to you is, is happening to them. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's see what this person going to say when they come back to you. Give me one more card. Anything else this person want to say before I pull out my other deck? Yeah. King of, uh, Queen of Swords. Okay, so we had the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. We have the uh, King of Swords right here. So this is this is what's going on between you and this person. Okay, um, 
you're cold hearted and bitter towards this person because they manipulated you. They, they lied to you. And now judgment is here. This person has to come in and ask for forgiveness. You and this person, when y'all were operating in high vibration, y'all had great conversations. I'm hearing a lot of pillow talk, you know. Um, there was a lot of clarity between you and this person. Okay. But since they lied to you and manipulated you, you cut this person off. You became very cold towards them. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> so it, it looks like your ancestors, both of y'all ancestors is calling for y'all to come together and have a powwow. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and pull these little messages and see what this person wants to say. What kind of conversation is going to come up? Because they thinking very heavy about you. All right, honey bun. I know. I hear you. You don't want to hear shit they got to say. But your ancestors, the awakening, answer the call, right? It's time to have a powwow. Even if it's closure, at least you give this person a chance to ask for forgiveness, to confess what they want to say. I need a deck. I thought I had a deck that's... Okay. All right. Let me let me get this other deck cuz I'm I'm being called to the purple deck. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm like something telling me to pull a purple deck. You know? So, <clears throat> let's see what this person want to say. Clarify the confessions of the heart. From this person for my collective please and thank you what does the collective person wants to say to them what does the collective person want to say to them <clears throat> what is the confessions in their heart now i could have pulled the hidden hearts but spirit said no it's not what's hidden it's what they want to confess thank you why do I keep messing things up? Mm -hmm. Why do you keep messing things up? Oh my God, I got three right here, okay. I don't deserve you at all. So this person knows they fucked up. Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. I've been depressed lately. Things have been really hard. Mm-hmm. Because you chasing waterfalls. <laughs> I'm sorry I gotta get him where I can Cause he over here acting like Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me So why are you Why are you acting Listen let me tell you something No relationship is gonna be about Roses and daisies all day long Okay The collective don't want nothing from you but for you to be a high version of what you're supposed to be. In order to deal with this queen going into an empress energy or this king going into an emperor energy, you have to elevate. You cannot sit here and give people sloppy seconds and think that you're going to keep somebody by your side. Ain't nobody dealing with your mess. Nah, because look, let me tell you something. You see why I put it on this pile? Because this person was dealing with a whole cougar that pretended to be an empress, okay? And they found out real quick that this person was a liar, a thief, a cheat, and a manipulator. They was a yuck mouth, okay? A yuck mouth is somebody, when they speak, they don't speak anything good. They speak, like this person was very um, ratchet, even though she looked like an empress, Everything on the inside was rotten, okay? And so you don't want to be with somebody like that because they're not on high vibration. So what in the world do you think 
collective is going to be with you when you operating in the Knight of Wands energy in the reverse, okay? Like, please, level up or go home. Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. It's not you. It's divine. It's your ancestors. It's your calling, your life purpose. This person ready to give up and be exhausted for elevating? I mean, come on. How are you going to expect the best if you're not giving out the best? Please. And that's why they know they don't deserve you because they can't be what they're supposed to be for themselves, let alone be for you what you deserve. <laughs> but I do want to be with you. You see what I'm talking about? Confused and deranged. Please. Late night confession, folks. Let me know how you feel about this message. Don't forget to hit the like button. Because I'm up way past my bedtime doing this message for you and them. But mostly for them. Because they ain't going to let me go to sleep. And I, I, I understand. I feel them. Like, they really do miss you. They're really thinking about you. And they can't sleep. And if, I, if they can't sleep, I can't sleep. Because I'm connected to you. You feel me? You see how that go? We all connected. <clears throat> see this person know that y'all belong together that's why they can't sleep because they know they're supposed to be with you but they fucked up big time just because you belong together don't mean you're gonna be together i hear you collective i hear you oh okay all of that fell on thinking. So this is what this person is thinking. <laughs> it says, the thought of you with someone else drives me insane. So this is what they think at night. They're thinking that you with somebody else. Good. That's good for them. Because you, they know you a good catch. They know that you are one in a million. Your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. You keep... I don't know the words, but you know what I'm talking about by Leah. Yeah, your love is one in a million. I hope you don't find out that I've been watching your social media. Didn't we already... Um, Didn't we already... <laughs> So now they, they repeating they self. They can't remember what they said. Now, come on now. I suck at goodbyes, but this is only a goodbye for now. So you told this person goodbye, good riddance. And they like, yeah, okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, the confidence in this person. If they had more confidence in leveling up, they would have you. It would be no goodbye. Mm. Sometimes I think you can be a little controlling and that pushes me away. You know, you you a mofo right now because you just had a controlling yuck mouth. <laughs> and that pissed you off. You know, this person want to be baby. They want what they want when they want it. And, and that's not a relationship. That you, if anybody's being controlling, is this person being controlling? Okay. Sometimes I think you can. So this person's thinking this, but it's not the truth. It's it's just what they're thinking, and they're gonna think they self by themselves. Well, that's already where they are now. I'm not even going to say a word. I'm just going to keep going with the reading because we need to finish. <clears throat> I can't stop thinking about you. You are always in my dreams. So now we know that this person can't sleep because when they go to sleep, they're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you. Night and day, all I do is think about you. All I do is think of you. Yeah, that's all they do. Sound like karma to me. When you don't treat something good and then you get somebody who treats you worse than what you deserve, 
The only thing you know how to do is think about how good you had it with the person who was treating you good. I'm not sure if I feel the same way I once did. I don't know what that means. I mean, this could go so many different ways. This could be them, <clears throat> you know, maybe, you, you know, the fear that they had of coming towards you or, you know, thinking that there was, okay, Spirit is saying that they thought that there was something better. And now they realize there ain't nothing else better out there. I get scared if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, that's what it is. What What is this person scared about being honest about? Like, I don't... Sometimes I be feeling like people just be coming up with shit just to pull on your heartstrings. I need more time to heal and love myself. Yes, you do, because you sound fool as fool. Okay, so now that you got your confessions out, everybody should be able to go to bed now. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, I'm ready to take my mask off and be real with you. Okay, so they want to come and tell you the truth, right? Please forgive me. And that's what this is all about. They want your forgiveness, okay? They want your forgiveness. <clears throat> They're hoping for your forgiveness, okay? And, um, you know, I don't know. I mean... I feel like this person wants more than forgiveness. They want you. They don't want you to just forgive them. But if you forgive them, that will help their hope. That will give them a little bit of spark to believe that there's a strong possibility or any possibility of them getting in your good grace again. <clears throat> and they're confident in getting you back because they know they had you already. I want to kiss your body from head to toe. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. You so damn sexual. King of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy. <laughs> I wish that I could give you the one thing in life that you always wanted. Honesty. Loyalty. <clears throat> Financial security. That's what I'm hearing as well. I don't feel like this person is in a position to um, financially be there for you because with this empress energy in reverse, this is a yuck mouth that's having financial issues. And the only reason why your person was even drawn to them is because they perpetrate a fraud. They pretended to be stable and they was not. And then when they found out that they were the one who was being catfished, they were the one that this person was actually hoping to have them take care of. The, the empress was hoping that this your person would take care of them. They couldn't do that. They wasn't trying to do that, right? <laughs> So that let me know right there because if you if you in a boss energy, you're going to take care of a cougar if you got the money because she's going to give you the fantasy, right? You need to get your shit together. That's what you need to do. Out there, you out there dating, you out there trying to bag, and you ain't even got your shit together. That's the whole point of this. This is why you told this person goodbye. Because you could do bad by yourself. You ain't even got your shit together. And you over here talking about somebody want too much from you. I can still feel your energy surrounding me. Boy, bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> I think my family will love you once they meet you. You know, this person is living in a fruit fruit land. I know things aren't what we want them to be, but maybe it's for the best. So they going back and forth in their head about why y'all are where y'all are. And y'all are only here because they fucked up. I have to break these toxic habits and behaviors. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just said it. Mm-hmm. 
It's like they know the truth, but they over here beating around the bush. Late night confessions, y'all. Of course I love you, and I will always love you. <laughs> love don't pay the bills. Are you still in love with me? See? You see what I'm so this is this this that trick manipulating shit. Okay? Toxic habits. If I bust out with I love you and I I will always love you, they want to hear it. Let me hear it back. Are you still in love with me? Do I still have another chance with you? See? If they could get you to forgive them. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that energy, okay? I don't like that energy because it sounds very sneaky and manipulative, right? If you here for forgiveness, love bug, then just ask for forgiveness and let another day come by before you start talking about, do I still have another chance and are you still in love with me? How can somebody be in love with you if you got them treating you cold as ice? You know what I mean? Like... Oh my God, you just make me sick. You you manipulated me into this damn con conversation, this reading. Got me thinking you really want just forgiveness. I love you from the deepest part of my soul. So now they go, you know what I don't like when somebody tell you, I love you, I love you, I love you, but their actions don't add up to their words. Like if you love somebody, where's the sacrifice? Where's the commitment? Where's the consistency? Where, where do you love yourself enough to not even show up to somebody without knowing you coming to bring stability? You know? <laughs> You 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 got all these words but no action. Nothing. Your actions is, does not add up to your words. <clears throat> Let me get out of here. Look, I have to stop running away when I am hurting, okay? So this person can't handle the truth. And I feel like you don't you love yourself and you love this person enough that you're honest with them and tell them the truth. When they fall short, you put them in a place in a loving way. Love don't always feel good, but love is honest. You know what I mean? And I feel like this person, wherever you tell them the truth, they run. They avoid you. They cower. And then, you know, they over here sitting here talking about, all I do is think of you. Like, fuck out of here. Oh my God, let me close this read it because we'll be here all night with this mofo. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so at the end of the deck, it says only you, just only you. See, only you, only you. Yeah, because it's the real deal. It's the real deal. <clears throat> all right, so what's complicated in this connection? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The crazy thing is that what I saw when I opened up the deck was apology and I saw marriage, okay? So <clears throat> marriage, you know, could be just commitment, okay? This person got a long way to go before they can get a commitment out of you because they first have to be willing to apologize without point and blame, without trying to be argumentative. Like, they can't take con constructive criticism. That's what I'm hearing. And the reason why they can't take constructive criticism, because they don't love themselves enough to take accountability for their actions. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I feel like you let this person know, why do you keep falling on the flow? <clears throat> I feel like you let this person know that you're not interested, y'all. You're not interested in the foolishness. You know, you go take that to that empress in reverse, that yuck mouth. You're not interested in what they, what they want. They not showing you that they're serious. Look, all, all the stuff that they have to face falling on the floor. Yeah, you're not interested. You put up your boundaries with this person. Mm-hmm. Healthy boundaries, too. 
Yeah. You better not fall on the floor. You need to face your fears and you need to face your responsibilities and accountability. Exactly. You need to deal with your karma. <laughs> you need to deal with your karma. Okay. This is karma for hurting the earth angel. I don't care how you slice the cake. You knew that this person, you knew my collective was good to you. You wanted to have this reading. I got up and I did it for you. And you got what you wanted, but you don't like the outcome. And that's this person. They don't like the outcome, even though they know they need to come in and ask for forgiveness. But I can't make this up. I need to own up where I fell short in this relationship. Maybe... We are better off separated. Okay? Now look how they acting. I don't really want to be in a relationship anyway. <laughs> but wait, but wait. <laughs> Babe, I love you and I'm going to be with you. <laughs> Y'all, that's they betrayed your trust, yo. They betrayed your trust. And, and they want to come in asking for compassion and forgiveness. You got a long way to go. You starting from ground zero. All right, y'all. Let me go. I'm done. Spirit, I ask that you close this portal. Don't let nothing stay or linger that doesn't belong. Thank you so much for the messages. And I appreciate you as above, so below. Collective, don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know if you like more content like this. I really enjoyed this reading, even though I'm tired as fuck. But... It was necessary, okay? Your person is hanging around, trying to get some kind of attention. And I was just like, oh my God, you're like a puppy. You know, pitiful puppy. That's what I'm hearing. All right, deuces. <clears throat>